Hey guys, welcome to this week's cash envelope stuffing. If you guys hear like car noises outside, that's because my window's open. I like, if my window's not open, it's gonna be so, so hot. So sorry if you guys hear that. And also I'm sorry for like this weird reflection of like my head, but if I open the blinds, it's too sunny. But if I close them and I rely on this, um, like the room lighting, it has a shadow. So yeah, just if that bugs you, I'm sorry, but please try your best to ignore it. So today over here, we have $530 that we're gonna be stuffing and we're gonna start with our expenses as usual. These binders, all my binders are from Budget with Trisha and then the envelopes inside, most of them are from me, but then some of them are from other places too. So I will let you guys know when we get to one that I didn't make. Okay, so first off we have groceries and of course, like every week, groceries it gets $30 that goes in here. I actually had $5 left in my drinks envelope this week or in my, I guess, card holder because that's where I keep my drinks money, but I actually left it at work or at least I'm hoping I left it at work. I, to be honest, I have no clue where it is, but I'm hoping it's at work because I did have to take it out today. So I'm hoping that when I go back to work tomorrow, it's still on my desk, but yeah. Um, I'm just going to be stuffing this one this week from Budget with Allie. She was kind enough to gift me this mini with my order. So I'm going to be putting $30 in here. So we've got the 10, 20, 25, 30. Then we've got So drinks has 10, 20, 25, 30. And the $5 that I have left, I'm just going to roll it over. So then I have $35 this week. I'm just gonna slip it in here for now. And then spending is getting the usual $70. If you guys didn't watch my video last week, we ate out so much and this week, we still ate out quite a bit, but it was much less than how much we ate out last week. So spending has 20, 40, 60, 70. Next up is gas, which we're not stuffing, but tomorrow I am going to visit my parents as well as go get my hair done. Um, so we're probably gonna see a lot of this go down by next week, but for now gas has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90 dollars. Not adding anything to it quite yet. Utilities, none of the bills came out. Um, I'm pretty sure they don't come out until the end of the month. So we still have 35 and we're just gonna be adding a 20. So now utilities has 20, 40, 50, 55. And investments is actually going to get some money today. So investments, we're going to put $5 in. I haven't touched this envelope for the longest time, but now we have 50, 70, 90, 95, 100, 105, and 110. So anytime I want, I can just invest this, um, but yeah. Okay, subscriptions I believe is empty. We didn't stuff it last week, yeah. So this week we're gonna put in $10. And then these are the envelopes I got from Budget with Allie. And I originally, as you can see, I wanted to stuff like my monthly expenses. So I wanted, like I had an envelope for rent, one for pet rent, one for parking. Like they're smudged because I wasn't sure how I wanted to do it. So I just like wrote it with like a erasable pen. But yeah, one for parking, one for tenant insurance. But then I realized that all of these payments, I can't pay with cash because right now the rental office where we live, they're not accepting cash. So... Um, I don't, I think I'm just gonna like budget for these expenses electronically as I have been this whole time. So I'm going to find another use for these envelopes, but yeah, sadly I won't be able to do that until the rental office takes cash again, which who knows when that will be. Okay, so there is my expenses wallet. Next up, we're going to do cash envelopes. In here. Okay, so starting off with personal. Personal will just be getting five dollars. So now personal has 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and 55. 
I'm just gonna put probably like five dollars in it every time I stuff it because I don't have anything pressing that I want to buy. Um, next up is Migo, and he will be getting fifteen. I think he's like almost running out of food. Maybe in a couple weeks or maybe in a month, we'll need to buy him a new bag of dry food. But in his envelope, he has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, and 175. Okay, and then hair, like I mentioned, my appointment is this week. It's going to be on Sunday, and I think I've decided that I'm going to do one more round of bleach, and then after that, I'm just going to go in for toners like every three months just to um, like maintain it. This is the last time I'm going to be bleaching it. So hopefully this is going to be the last hair appointment that costs this much, but hair this week will be getting 110 Now in hair, we have 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 500. So we have 500 in hair, which last time I had my hair appointment, it was $400 for the service, and then I tipped her uh, $100. So it was $500 to bleach my hair. So I'm hoping it'll be around the same so then um, I can just use all of this. But if it ends up being a little bit over, I think I'm just going to go into my personal envelope just because I have like no plans for it anyways. Next up is home and home will just be getting $5. Slowly going to try to build this back up. So there's the five. My boyfriend is next and he will get $15. He usually, oops, yeah, he usually gets 20 but... This time he'll just be getting 15. Hopefully we can go back to stuffing 20 later. But now he has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 130, 140, 150, 155. 155, our anniversary is in three weeks, so that's nice. Next up is gifts, and gifts will be getting 20. So now we have 30 in gifts. Gifts is another one that I want to stuff more in the future when I can because I feel like there's always like someone's birthday or like, you know, some occasion that you need to buy gifts for. Um, Beauty will also be getting 20. I'm going to try to get my nails done once every month. So that's like $60 every month. So I want to save $80 um, to include the tip in there. So yeah, $20 a week should be good. Stationery, we're going to skip just because I I feel like I haven't been really into stickers as much as I was before. So yeah, there's $15 in here for whenever I want to spend it. Next up is giving and giving will be getting $5. This, um, this envelope is from Budget with Trisha. Okay, next up is clothing, and clothing will also only be getting $5. I don't really prioritize clothing. As you can tell, there's only $15 in here, but yeah. Okay, and that is it for the cash envelopes. And then my last binder is for sinking funds, which looks like this. Okay. So starting off with cash savings, cash savings will be getting $20. Eventually I do want to make an emergency fund envelope just to sort of have an emergency fund, but yeah, I don't have one yet. So I'm just going to use cash savings for now and cash savings has 100, 200, 250, 270 and 275. So every time this hits 500, I'm just going to deposit into my online savings account and start over. Etsy supplies is getting nothing. Car will get five dollars. So we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, and 105 for car. I really need to get my license updated just because because we just moved, so I need to find a time to do that, but some of this money will be used for that. School will get $110 today. So the last two 50s and a 10. 
and school has 2,000 in the bank, and then in cash we have 50, 100, 50, 200, and 10. So we have $2,210 in school. Okay, next up is YouTube, and YouTube won't be getting stuffed. I still have the $15 in here because I haven't sent the giveaway prize out yet, but I will next week, so this will be gone by then. Taxes is empty and won't be getting stuff. Like I said, I'm just probably gonna have my work withhold extra taxes so I don't actually have to save up for taxes in cash. Travel is gonna get $5. Oops. So now we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, and 90 dollars in travel. And then Christmas, I actually spent some money out of this envelope, surprisingly. Um, I saw this thing that I originally wanted to buy my friend for Christmas was in stock, so I figured that I would just buy it while it's in stock and then take the money out of here because I will be giving it to her for Christmas. So Christmas will just be getting $5 today. And now we have 20, 40, 60, 70, and 75 in Christmas. I should probably start stuffing more into Christmas, actually. But yeah, okay, so the last envelope is 52 Week Challenge. This week, I did use a random number generator, but I still got a pretty low number. I got $22, so let's highlight 22. So I have 20 here and then $2 somewhere. Then $2 here. So now in 52 week challenge, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 20, 40, 60, 82. So we have 560, no, 582. Yeah, $582, which is amazing. Just quickly write that down. And I really want to start stopping the high number, so hopefully I get a relatively high number next week. But yeah, that is it for me. This video was pretty short, um, but it got the job done. I stuffed all the envelopes I needed to, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will be back next week with a brand new cash envelope stuffing. Bye!